Hello. Today we talk about recurrent miscarriage and whether a low ovarian reserve or diminished ovarian reserve is one of the causes. So this was a very good paper published in Fertility Sterility. And what it looked at, it says, well, how often does recurrent miscarriage occur? One to two percent of women in the reproductive age group. And in fact, 50 percent of recurrent miscarriage, you cannot find the cause. Now, what we do know is that women who have, as they get older, will see a larger number of abnormal embryos. And we also think as women go past 37 to 38, the proportion of abnormal eggs tend to increase. So this study looked at various markers and it looked at AMH, antral follicle count, FSH, LH, FSH, LH ratio, and they found it's a link to recurrent miscarriage. And what they did notice is that the link of low AMH and decreased ovarian reserve had a slightly higher risk to recurrent miscarriage. Now, what we do know is that if your AMH is low and the antral follicle count, that's a second reserve is low, the chances of pregnancy through IVF are decreased. Equally, it is age that is more important than AMH or antral follicle count. So I'll, I'll always say, keep that in mind. You know, let no one tell you that a low AMH means a low chance of pregnancy because age is, is the most important. Now, that is what we feel happens. So there seems to be a small link between decreased reserve on all parameters. So it will be the FSH, LH, FSH, LH ratio, AMH, and andrew follicle count and the risk of having recurrent miscarriage. Thank you.